So laser diodes are just dirt cheap these days. I, I got a bunch of lasers on a on a, a toy that I built, um, and it became apparent that these lasers were pennies a piece. I, I don't know how they could sell this thing at the price they were making it. So it was a bunch of individual lasers all mounted and um, they're in little brass collars like normal lasers. And they have a little lens in them that focuses. You can turn the brass barrel and it's threaded and that spring allows you to um, focus the laser. Then if you pull out the little PC board that's in this brass ferrule, you'll find that there's not much in there. Back in the old days, you would see circuitry, you know, feedback and all this other stuff. But the circuitry inside this one is a resistor and a diode, the laser diode. And that's it. <laughs> that's all there is to it. A resistor and a diode. It's like any other LED circuit. So somehow they've overcome the problem with lasers running away. And you can just run these things like they're LEDs. They're just an LED, but they're coherent. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, so under a bigger microscope, there is the 91 ohm resistor. And... There's a little tiny bond wire that goes off to the laser diode. That laser diode's way down there at a different level, and it's on a piece of brass, so it's it's a good heat sink. If we look at the laser diode closer, we can see the bond wire on top. Um, and an edge view allows you to see that it's a cleaved laser diode, so it's a stripe stripe structure on top and a cleaved exit face. It's like any other laser diode from the past. All right, since it's just a diode, let's put it on a curve tracer and see if it's just a diode. Uh, in the past, lasers had really weird VF curves um, and uh, IV curves, whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at that. Um, you can see here that it looks just like a <laughs> diode. <laughs> Okay, here's a closer view of the uh, of the curve. We're at five milliamps per division, and we can go up to 50. 50 at the top, 50 milliamps, and we're getting about two and a half volts VF at 50 milliamps. Okay, I'm going to change gears here to 10 milliamps per division. Let's see if we can't drive this thing hard. Here's our 50 milliamps again. Let's see if we can drive it past 50 milliamps and see where this thing fails. So here we're at 60 milliamps and oops, something happened. So yeah, it failed at right about 60 milliamps. Didn't really die though. I mean, not entirely. It's, these things are pretty rugged now. I'm amazed. Anyway, uh, it's this is news to me. I, I didn't know that lasers were so robust and you didn't need to have feedback. You could just use a single resistor. So these are 91 ohm resistors. Um, so at five volts with two and a half volts drop, you get, or maybe two volts drop, you get three volts at 31, uh, three volts, let's see, three volts at 91 ohms is 33 milliamps. So I think that under the normal case here, they're driving these at 33 milliamps. And so they are very, very robust there. 